Good afternoon, guys. So, I am jumping straight into the next part of Chicken Coop 2.0. Uh, so this will be part two of 2.0. <laughs> so I made a run to Home Depot and I got um, all the wood to do all of the main structure. Um, you can see the concrete behind me. I don't know, it's kind of bright, so maybe it's not showing up. I'm standing under my awning right now. Um, so in this part, what I'm going to be doing is going to be basically building the entire structure. Um, getting the, yeah, I guess basically all the walls or what will be the walls basically are the four by four supports, the top ridge beam, rafters, purlins. Um, so I got all the brackets for that, screws, all the wood for that. Um, and then of course I have the fencing so I can start putting the fencing on, but I'll need to do a coat of paint prior to that. So that's what this episode is going to be. Part two, continuing with the build, trying to get this thing done. So thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in and let's get to work. All right. So just to go over all the parts and pieces that I have, um, galvanized staples, this is put the fencing on. Uh, these are my, um, Simpson strong ties, basically um, these are like structural screws made to be used with all of the Simpson bracket hardware. Um, the brackets that I have, these are the 4x4 bases. So these will be going on where I put uh, all of the J-bolts. So basically two on each wall. That's the base for the 4x4. Um, the top of the 4x4 is going to be this piece here. So this will uh, screw into the top of the 4x4 and then the 4x4 that comes across uh, will go in the other spot. And then on the corners, I have this piece. So this will basically be on the outside corner. It has, you know, the 90s here, outside corner, and then two of these are going to go basically line up on the corner. And then this will be the piece that's going to be on the inside of the upper corner. Um, I got regular chicken wire that's going to be on the top. So the bottom three feet is going to be the 14 gauge half inch by one um, galvanized fencing, I guess it is. Um, mesh, I don't know what they call it. You'll see once I start putting it up. And then this is the wood that I got. So four by fours will be for the vertical pieces and then the top cap all the way around. Uh, these 16 foot two by fours are my purlins. That 16 foot two by six is my ridge beam. I wanted to do a two by eight, but they didn't have two by eights in 16 and I didn't feel like buying a 20 footer, but that should be fine. I mean, this is not a big structure. Um, 12 foot two by fours are going to be for uh, cross supports. So basically halfway up between the two four by fours, I'll have a cross support piece. Um, in between all of them, except for where the doors are, obviously. And then the two by sixes are for all of my uh, roof uh, rafters. So that's pretty much everything I need to get the structure built. So what I'm gonna do now, I have the other four by fours that I painted. Um, that was right at the end of the last video I showed that. So I'm gonna go grab those four by fours and I'm gonna start installing them and basically just use a level, get them up. Um, this is the, the highest corner, I believe, because this is not, you know, 100% level. This, this back wall here is actually slightly lower. So this is the highest corner. Actually, these two are pretty close to the same. Um, so this is the one I'm gonna put in first and I'm gonna mark out my basically six foot height. And then I'm gonna use my laser, which might be kind of hard because it's so sunny right now, but I'll figure it out. Put in the other three, mark them so that I can cut everything off evenly. And then I'll be putting in the top pieces all the way around. And then I'll come back and I'll put in the other verticals in between. And then basically just start putting all the pieces of the puzzle together. So that's uh, what we're going to be doing.
All right, so I have my four corner posts put in place. And as you can see, I cut this one. So this is gonna be my set point for all the other posts, I guess. Um, and I was gonna do my use my laser, but it, there's no way it's gonna work because it's just too bright out. So what I'm gonna do is take one of the two by 12s and I'm just gonna set it on here, go over to that side, use my level till it's level and then make a mark. And then I'm just gonna transfer that, you know, to this one, then to that one, then to that one. And that should be close enough because if it's level from here to here and level from there to there and level from there to there, level from here to here, then everything should be level. And then another thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a string around the base and run it all the way around. And then uh, that way I will push these brackets out till they touch the string before I actually tighten them down. So that way that everything is in line on all the walls. So that's gonna be the next step. Okay, now all the posts are cut. All of the brackets for the middle four by fours are tightened down. Um, it's kind of funny, level from here to there was about an inch lower than level from here to there. So all I did was just go, I split the difference and went right in the middle. So, I mean, this is a chicken coop, it's not a house. Um, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty much the structure right here. You know, given the two more four by fours in each one, and then there's just gonna be the cross pieces and then a roof, and then the whole thing gets wrapped in fencing. So this is going together pretty quickly, or it will go together fairly quickly. So now, next step, uh, I'm going to be starting to attach the corner brackets on the, the outside corner brackets, and then I'm going to start cutting 45s and putting up these top pieces. And I did plumb these posts up, but what I'll do is I'm going to take a measurement um, from at the base from here to there, and then I'm gonna make sure that the top matches, and then do that all the way around as I go around. That way it's at least square, they should be pretty close to being in line because, like I said, I plumb them up when I put the screws in. So we will see how that goes. Okay, I picked the hottest part of the day to be doing this. <laughs> it's like 2.30 in the afternoon. Um, I just wanted to show, you know, what these brackets look like. So in each one of these corner brackets, there's 12 screws, four and one, four and one, and then two in the corner. And then on the inside, there's uh, six screws. So this thing's pretty, um, bulletproof at this point um, and then there is uh, what is it 15 14 screws that are in the bottom so seven on each side on those base pieces these ones aren't as heavy duty um, there's gonna be basically I think three screws in each side and then on the top will be the same thing so there will be screws in the top post and then screws going into the cross piece so the next step of this process is going to be starting to cut all of these vertical pieces and get those installed. And then, yeah, I think I'll probably skip the time lapse on that because that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and I've already done pretty much all time lapses so far. <laughs> so I'm gonna get started on cutting those vertical pieces. And then after those are done and installed, that's pretty much it for the base and then it'll be starting to work on the uh what are you doing hati you're not usually out here huh 
and then going up from there, basically what's going to happen is a four by four will go in the middle here and it's going to go maybe, um, it's going to end up being about a foot tall because this is going to be a really shallow roof. I mean, it's going to be like a, it's not going to be flat, but basically from here to there, it's going to be about a foot difference. So the pitch will be really low. And yeah, it's because I don't really need it to be high. Um, so we'll see. I may I may end up doing it two feet, just so it's like a, I guess that'd be like a 12-2 maybe, something like that, which is even shallower than what the shop roof is. And if I wanted to be really OCD, I guess I would match the pitch of the shop roof. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right. So all of the vertical pieces are in now, as you can see. And I realized that I didn't paint these like I did on the corners, <laughs> but they're all raised up off the concrete anyway. Um, ideally, it would have been nice to paint that before it went into the bracket, but it'll just get painted over the bracket anyway. Um, and then I also figured out that the brackets that I got sun's right in the camera the ones that were going to be going here um, they were made for a four by four to a double two by four so a double two by four is not as wide as a four by four i thought that it would fit on here and go both ways so all i ended up doing was just toe nailing these in on two screws on each side and that's how all of those are done um, so what's going to happen now is i'm going to start working on the putting in the um, ridge beam. So there's gonna be a four by four that's gonna go straight up on both sides, the front and back. And then the ridge beam will get mounted on top of that. So that's gonna be the next step. It's really hot and sunny, but it's a beautiful day. I mean, it's January, can't complain. It's gotta be probably close to 80 degrees today. Whew. Yeah, hot. All right, I'm gonna get back to it. All right, so uh, I was trying to do a 10 inch headlock down that, but I guess it just can't get through the grain that way. It just won't drive. So I have to grab a set of vice grips and pull that thing out because I can't even back it out now. So the ridge beam is in, um, there's going to be one foot overhang on the front and then on the back it's going to end up being probably about two feet so it's running long right now and then it'll get cut after I do the roof, you know once I put the roof metal on then that whole side will get trimmed off depending on you know how the roof, because the roof is going to end up being about 15 feet because um, those panels are three feet each and it'll end up being five pieces, you know, on each side. So wherever it ends up, then this will get trimmed. Uh, and then the facial board will go on. Or the, what do they call that? Like a barn rafter? I forget what it is. The front one's actually called something different. The side ones are fascia. Anyway, um, that's up now. So I'm going to start doing the... Uh, I'm going to start doing the rafters. So there's basically going to be four. One, two, three, four, and then same on the other side. And then the purlins can go on once those are up. So I'm going to have to figure out, you know, what my angle is going to be to cut up here, uh, to have it come down here. Um, and the very, the ones that go right above that four by four vertical, I may have to do a little notch on it just so it fits right. And then it's just going to sit on top of this one. And then I realize now too that I didn't get um, hurricane ties, but I can add those in later. So I'm gonna get started on that. Um, it's probably about 4.30 or something now. So I'm gonna just keep working until it gets dark, I guess. All right, so it uh, is getting dark. <laughs> uh, I think it's about six or maybe a little after six. 
So everything is done as far as the framing, I guess, the roof, all that. Um, the only thing that I have left to do is I'm going to be putting cross beams in here. Look at the bugs all flying towards my light. So I'm going to be putting um, cross pieces in here all the way around everywhere except for where there's the door, which is going to be here, and then the door back there. So I think that was good progress for today. This was about five hours of work, so not too bad. I will pick it up tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So it's been, uh... oh, Jerry. <laughs> so it's actually been almost a week since I was able to get out here. I had one of our papaya trees fall down because it was so heavy, so many papayas on it. And now this one, is it looks like it's getting ready to it's leaning on the fence pretty hard right there so it looks like that one's actually gonna fall down soon too they're gonna end up being taken out anyway because once the chicken the new chicken coop is done then all of this is gonna be gone you know yeah so um like i said it was uh sunday when i was out here last time working on this now it's friday again uh, you guys just watched the video from part one, I, I'm guessing. Well, hopefully. <laughs> um, I did make a trip to actually Lowe's over on Kona side. So I picked up all the roofing, fascia boards, and barge rafters. I think that's what they're called, the ones that are on the end. I think it's a barge rafter. I couldn't remember earlier. So let me uh, flip this around. So uh, this is pretty much right where I left it. I did put a tarp over the top of that, but that's gonna get taken down now, basically because I had like my ladder and some stuff underneath here that I didn't want to get wet. But it hasn't really rained too much either. I guess we're in a drought, I don't know. It's kind of weird weather. Typically this time of year, it's raining a lot. I mean, we're mid-January now, so. Oh, such a good boy. So, uh, what's going to happen today is I'm going to get the roof put on. And what that will, what will be involved in that is gonna be cutting these. So basically these are gonna get cut so that they're perpendicular to the ground. And then the Fascia will go on there and for those I got two by eights so it'll be the distance of this and then it'll also stick up roughly an inch and a half so that it matches you know what the purlins are up here um, and then the roof will sit on that so it'll actually be above um, another thing that I got to do today is I got to put in some filler pieces in here which is going to be two by material two by twos I'll probably cut up some two by twos just to fill that because I'll just need basically six on each side um, put the barge rafter out here I hope that's the right term I don't know so basically the piece that goes here will come down to meet this fascia and then I will start my roof on this side and, and work that way and then depending on where the roof ends up, there will probably be about a foot or so over here. So all of these will get um, cut back to wherever the last roof panel goes. So the roof panels are three feet roughly. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be five, five sheets on each side and that'll be about 15 feet. So we'll have a foot overhang on the front, about a two foot overhang on the back. I wanted a little bit more on the back because the nesting boxes will be here. And then I guess also just for some more shade, you know, because the sun, you know, comes up over here and goes across this way in the afternoon. I guess I'll get a lot of sun in this way, but yeah, and also for rain, if I'm coming out to grab eggs and it's raining, I have a little bit of a roof to stand under. And then my buddy George is dropping off his paint sprayer. 
So once all of the framing and everything is done, which I still got to do the cross beams in here, I'm going to start doing the framing for the um, the box, the coop, the inside coop. Um, once all that's done with all the basic framing, then I'm going to spray everything. Make it quick and then I'll be able to cover, I'll be able to spray inside the roof and get all of the rafters and everything done. So that will all be happening uh, today and tomorrow. And then as soon as the paint is on, I'm going to start putting the fencing on, I'm going to start building doors. And then tomorrow I plan on picking up our new birds, which are crazy little things. So anyway, let me get to work. All right, so I got the first uh, two by eight fascia on and then the two by six barge rafters. And then I put a little um, kind of a trim piece there just to close it out. Um, I have the front two on and I'm getting ready to trim this one off. Of course, it'll be trimmed, you know, in line with the fascia. And then I have the next piece, which will end up being back here. Um, so I got basically a 10 foot piece and an eight foot piece uh, for the fascias because I needed to span this eight feet plus another foot. So I needed a 10 footer there. And then the back, I only needed an eight because it'll probably end up being about six feet, so I'll end up cutting about two feet off of that one. Um, but that's going to be after I start doing the roofing. So what I'm focusing on now is getting this done on both sides and getting it set up all the way to the end, and then I can start dropping the roofing panels in place. And then I'll be able to do the back side. So making some progress. Man, if only I could go time-lapse speed in real life. All right, so the roof panels are on. Um, now I have to trim all of these purlins and the fascias and get the barge rafters on this side. And then I'll put the uh, ridge cap on and the roof will be done. Okay, so... The roof is completely wrapped up. You can see I have the ridge cap up there. Um, I got a little further along than I realized. <laughs> and I was gonna, you know, do some more video on this. Um, but this is all done. That's done. A little crooked, but it's a chicken coop. You see this edge is sticking out a couple inches further than this edge, so. Oh well, chickens will still like it. So, as you can see here, I started framing out where the actual coop coop is going to be. The coop coop. <laughs> um, I know I kind of explained this previously, but this is going to be siding. There's going to be a nesting box here, nesting box here. Um, and then I have this two by four coming down from the rafter and then I'm getting ready to connect the two by six from here over to there and that'll be the complete base there will be some cross pieces in here and I believe for this coop what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm actually going to use the half inch by one inch um, fencing in here as a floor so Basically when they poop, I'm just going to brush it and it's going to fall through to down below. So when they come in here at night to roost, that seems like that's when chickens poop the most. Um, and I'm tired of like constantly cleaning that coop over there. Not constantly, I do it probably once every two months. Because um, I put in wood chips in there, let it mix with the poop, and then I go and put that like on my papaya trees and stuff like that. Um, so essentially the same thing is going to be happening here. Uh, tomorrow I'm getting some mulch delivered, so this whole thing is going to get filled with mulch. Um, and then I'm going to start the process over again of, what do they call it, the, the deep mulch system or deep something system. I don't know what it is for chickens. 
basically it turns all of this into really nutrient rich soil so then you cycle it out put some fresh mulch and stuff in and like you know rotate it anyway that's my progress so far it's getting late the sun's getting low big guy just kidding <laughs> so i'm going to continue on on this uh until it gets dark um Next step is gonna be putting that cross piece in here. There will be some cross piece two by fours going this way. Um, and then of course I have to still put in my cross pieces in between the four by fours all the way around. Well, be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's it because this is already the coop part. So, and then the heavy duty fencing is gonna go on the bottom below this all the way around and then the top part is going to be regular chicken wire so should be good and then uh yeah that'll be nice because i can feed them in the morning in here and i don't have to worry about the 150 uh, morning doves that are here every morning to eat all the chickens food <laughs> all right well it's getting dark so i'm gonna call it a night but um, pretty much all of the framing is done. Um, all the structural framing, I guess. So a couple of things that I have left to do, but you can get kind of a better idea of what the layout's going to be. So door, door, which I still got to make those. Um, I'm going to have to do a little bit of framing here for the um, automatic chicken door that's going to be mounted there. Um, so basically that's probably going to be just two cross piece two by fours and then two vertical two by fours, you know, the size of the door and then the door will get, you know, screwed into that from the outside. Um, I went with a different, um, automatic chicken door opener. So you'll see that once I do it, it's different than the one that's on the shop. And then just framing out the actual coop coop. Um, I need to put some vertical structure so that the siding can get screwed onto there or nailed onto there. I need to put cross beams in here for the um, the fencing to go down to get stapled down on. Uh, probably need to add another vertical in here somewhere. Uh, I'm not going to do like 16 on center or anything like that. I might do something like every 24 inches maybe because the only thing it's going to be doing is holding the siding on. So um, just to box in this whole area, you know, all the way. And I'm going to end up putting in roosting bars high and some medium ones kind of all throughout in here so that there's plenty of room. And then also I'm going to be putting roosting bars out here, like in the corners or like, you know, anywhere where I can fit like a, you know, piece of YV or something. Maybe I'll get a big branch and I'll run it like from here over to there or something. Um, maybe some even across so we'll see what happens with that um, this will all get closed in from the outside but what i'm trying to do right now is to get all of the base framing done so that i can paint it all and all of that's going to get painted white and then when i do the siding it's going to get painted blue you know same as everything else um, so far but that's where i am so i'll be back at it in the morning Good morning guys <clears throat> so it's the next day and after looking at all the videos and stuff i realized like this video is getting very long so i think i'm going to go ahead and end this video here and then uh obviously there will be a part three <laughs> and then i'll just pick back up where i uh, left off on that video um plus that way i'm getting a video out each week since i haven't really been doing that regularly uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now and then um, I'm gonna keep working so I'll just start right in on the next one and then uh, I will see you guys next week too, hopefully. <laughs> so as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, I will see you guys on the next video. Aloha.